My name is Lucio Simoni. I'm the Engineering Manager for BC Group. And in this video, we'll be demonstrating ECG simulation using an NIVP Series 1040. In this case, we're testing a Mindray PM9000, and we have the five ECG leads hooked up. This is also compatible with three lead ECG or all the way up to a full 10 lead uh, ECG. So in this case, we have the colors. These are the US color scheme. On the front of the NIBP, we also have the international color code listed underneath the US. Uh, so we have the color code and the lead uh, name on each position of the NIBP. The uh, NIBP will default to uh, 120 over 80 BP simulation with a heart rate of 80 beats per minute in a normal sinus rhythm. And in this case, we can see uh, lead two is showing a normal sinus rhythm and our rate is 80 beats per minute. We can select different ECG simulations by going through the select button and that will change both the NIBP simulation and the ECG simulation. In this case, we turned on the pacer feature and we can see in the monitor that it is showing a pacemaker pulse. And we can scroll through all of the available settings. In this case, the heart rate changed and we can see that heart rate uh, being monitored by, measured by the monitor. Now, we may notice that our respiration is displayed down at the bottom uh, graph on the monitor, and yet it's not showing any respiration signal. Now, that's because in the NABP series, respiration is fixed to the left arm lead, and maybe your monitor is always mi measuring uh, respiration on the left leg instead of the left arm. So in that case, when we're testing respiration, it's very simple to just swap the left arm and the left leg leads on the NABP, and now we'll see uh, our respiration measurement being displayed on the monitor. And in this case, uh, respiration is designated by the R, and it's showing 35 breaths per minute. It takes a few seconds for the monitor to measure that data and analyze it and provide a respiration measurement. And in this case, now we get our 35 breaths per minute. And again, we can cycle through and get to other respiration rates. In this case, the neonatal should show 47 breaths per minute. And also, if we go to arrhythmia mode, it will um, provide a sequence of arrhythmias. And it will show me a timer uh, in between each arrhythmia that's being displayed. So we can see these arrhythmias coming out uh, on the ECG simulation. Again, this is an automated method for testing arrhythmias. And we'll demonstrate here the uh, alternate modes. If we press the screen down button, that will allow me to select the different screens that are available on the NABP. And if I go down three screens, then I can see I'm in ECG mode. Now this is our performance waveforms that we would use to test the monitor, where we can select normal sinus rhythm and we can select the heart rate that we want to use. And we can scroll through those here. We have 30, 60, 120, 240 beats per minute. And we can also go through our other performance waveforms like sine wave, square wave, triangle wave, and then our arrhythmias. To get back to NIBP simulation, we press the screen up, and we'll cycle through the pressure graph that shows the pressure being measured. The next screen shows the uh, internal pulse simulation and then we get back to our main uh, default NABP screen. That concludes the features and functions for testing ECG using the NABP 1040 series. For more details on BC products or more training videos, visit us on the web at bcgroupstore.com. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like further information, please contact us at 800-242-8428 or for international calls, be sure and dial the plus one for the U.S. 
314-638-3800. Or you can email us at sales at bcgroupintl.com. For more information about our extensive line of BC Biomedical products and other vendor alliances, browse BC Marketplace located at bcgroupstore.com.